Good afternoon, and thank you, Susan, for your kind words. I'm delighted to be with all of you today at the Future of Nursing Passion, Purpose, and Progress 2021 Summit. And it gives me tremendous pleasure to join Dr. Richard Besser and Dr. Susan Hassmiller from the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, along with my AARP colleague, Dr. Susan Reinhardt, and all those who have joined us today to honor the enormous, the extraordinary contributions nurses have made to our nation's health over the years, and especially during this past year. In 2007, the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, AARP, and AARP Foundation created the Center to Champion Nursing in America to ensure all people in this country have a highly skilled nurse when and where they need one. In 2010, that same group joined forces to create the Future of Nursing Campaign for Action to harness the power of nurses as essential partners in providing care and promoting health equity and well-being so everyone has the opportunity to live longer, healthier lives. And since then, AARP and AARP Foundation, with the extraordinarily generous support of RWJ Foundation, have worked hand in hand with the Center to Champion Nursing in America to strengthen the nursing profession. We've highlighted the critical role nurses play in creating a healthier nation and in advancing the cause of health equity in our country. Our collaboration has made tremendous progress. We've lifted restrictions on nurses to expand access to care for almost 60 million people. We've helped pass laws so consumers have easier access to care at home and created a mentoring program and toolkit for nursing programs to build a more diverse and inclusive nursing workforce. And that's just in the last year. This past year has also tested our nation and its nurses. The need for skilled nursing has never been clearer. Nurses have shown tremendous courage, fortitude, and selflessness in meeting the needs of patients who are ill and their families who are caring for them, often caring at a distance. Yet nurses have faced difficult times too, from sickness in their ranks to burnout, grief, and worse. On behalf of AARP Foundation and countless others, I offer a heartfelt thank you to nurses everywhere for your everyday heroism and your grace. Nurses have borne witness as the tragic disparities in health and access to quality health care that have plagued our country for so long have come to light. These disparities and who gets sick and who dies, who gets care and who does not, did not suddenly appear with COVID-19. They have been here all along, hiding in plain sight, a product of the long-standing and shameful inequality that stems from a lack of economic, social, and political opportunities from racism, discrimination, and poverty. To tackle these disparities, we must focus on the social determinants of health, factors such as education, access to healthcare, jobs, housing, food, and social isolation, these factors affect people's health from cradle to grave. Because nurses are so closely involved with patients, they have a window into the social determinants that often cause great damage to patients. And as part of the healthcare system, they are well positioned to create and be part of the solution. AARP Foundation shares nursing's commitment to fighting health disparities. Our mission, is to create a world without senior poverty where no older adult feels vulnerable. We invest in and create effective solutions that help tackle the root causes of poverty, racism, and discrimination. One key social determinant of health is food insecurity. And nurses understand this well. They understand how food insecurity harms health and they can and they do play a key role in addressing the problem. They can screen patients for food insecurity during medical visits and provide food prescriptions to refer patients to community resources that can and do provide reliable food access. Some, like nurses in Washington State's Bayou Nihon response to COVID-19, go farther. 
These professionals held weekly phone check-ins and screenings with high need elders to assess them for COVID-19 symptoms and for food insecurity and other social determinants of health. Elders in need were offered a grocery and meal delivery program to ensure their access to nutritious and culturally appropriate food. This effort is just one of many examples of how nurses get involved in their communities to advocate and to act for a culture of health. Nurses also have a key role to play in addressing the crisis of social isolation, another important social determinant of health to which AARP Foundation has long been committed. It is no surprise to all that social isolation dramatically worsened during the pandemic, especially for older, low-income adults. Social isolation, as we know, is associated with an increased risk of heart attack, stroke, dementia, depression, and early death from all causes, and it must be taken seriously. Last year, AARP Foundation sponsored a National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine consensus study that recommended addressing social isolation by strengthening ties between the healthcare system and community-based networks and resources. And nurses played a significant role on the National Academy's expert panel that studied this issue and that issued the study. And they have a critical part to play in implementing its recommendations. The study noted that nurses provide an essential link between hospitals and community environments and perform a significant function in assessing patients' social, psychological, and physical health needs and making referrals to community services that can and do address social isolations in older adults. Overcoming health inequity and the social determinants of health is no small task. No one group or organization can do it alone. At AARP Foundation, we speak of the uplifting power of partnerships and cross-sector collaboration to achieve the best, most effective, sustainable results. We have seen it in our work with the Root Cause Coalition, where we partner with a broad cross-section of groups and organizations in many different sectors, all committed to achieving health equity through our focus on the social determinants of health. And I believe there really is no finer example of the power of partnerships and collaboration than the one that has powered the future of nursing campaign for action housed at the Center to Champion Nursing in America. This is of course in part because the involvement of my many talented and hardworking colleagues at AARP, Dr. Susan Reinhart, Chief Strategist, and our friend and colleague, Robert Wood Johnson Foundation's Dr. Sue Hassmiller, campaign director. Both are nurses. The fantastic CCNA team, including directors Mary Boyle, Jennifer Peed, Pat Polanski, and Wynn Quinn, and their extraordinarily dedicated team, including Jasmine Cooper, Jordan Green, Claudio Galtieri, Anna Harvada, Aiden McAllen, Lynn Mertz, Nicole Roscoe, Stacy Sampson, and Scott Tanaka. And of course, the nationwide network of nurses, far too many to name, who my colleagues and I will continue to champion. Though the road to health equity for our nation, especially for those in underserved communities will be long, AARP Foundation is proud to be on this journey with the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, AARP, and the dedicated and talented nurses nationwide. Thank you all.